technological powers increase, but the side effects and potential hazards escalate. Rightly said by the writer Alvin Toffler. Yes, good morning ladies and gentlemen. Today, I am here to present about an extraordinary innovation that is beneficial to mankind in numerous ways. Unfortunately, that has immense potential hazards that is well pronounced. Yes, it is being considered as the cancer of earth, the plastics. First of all, let me introduce me, myself, Rosanna, pursuing my bachelor's degree in electrical and electronics engineering. So, what are plastics? My question may seem funny for you because all of you know what plastics are. Technically speaking, a plastic is a chemically molded substance that can be molded to any shape while soft and hardened and it's a polymer of carbon. Are you confused? Let me make the concept clear for you. All of you might have seen walls, right? As a wall is made up of a large number of bricks stacked together, a plastic is made up of a large number of carbon molecules. Apart from carbon, it contains oil, water molecule, plasticizer, fillers and colorants like the sand and cement in the wall. It is shocking to know that nearly 6% of the total oil in world is used for plastic protection. Right from the baby bottles to the carry bags and the mobile phones and the laptops and the helmets, a society is molded with plastics in each and every nook and corner. So, I think it is perfect to call these plastics as human partners. You know, plastics are, partners are always beneficial to us, but they always cause some problem in one or the other way. I think those who are married or those who have a girlfriend will understand this better. In the same way, plastics also make our life luxurious and cheaper, but they also cause some problems. The plastic production attained an exponential growth since 1950 and in 2014 about 311 million tons of plastics are being produced, a 20 times rise just in 64 years. And this rate is expected to double by 2030 and quadruple by 2050. Just imagine the situation. And the source is Plastic Europe. You may like Pani Puri and he Masal Puri. Mushroom is my favorite. In the same way, different types of plastics are being used for making different types of application. Let us look about them. First is the polyethylene terephthalene, which is used for making the water and the soft drink bottles. It is being found that estrogen molecule leaked from the pet bottles into water which can cause hormonal imbalances. And next is a high de density polyethylene used for making the milk the cans and the shampoo bottles. These are comparatively safer. Only 29% of these plastics can be recycled. Next is a polyvinyl chloride which is extensively used for making the pipes and the toys. The vinyl chloride itself is a carcinogen and the PVC toys can cause asthma and allergy in children. When the PVC is burned, they produce phthalates which are again carcinogenic. Next is the low density polyethylene used for making the low value garbage bags and the squeeze bottles. They are not a problem but they cannot be recycled. And here comes the polypropylene used for making our favorite ice cream tubs. They, they are not any problem, they are relatively safer, but it is very difficult to recycle. And next is a polystyrene, which is used for making the CD cases. If food containers are made with polystyrene, endocrinal abnormalities will occur. And next comes the polycarbonates, which are also carcinogenic. So my dear friends, the plastics which you have to avoid are the polyvinyl chloride, the polystyrene and the polycarbonates. Yes. All of you know the plastics have immense utility value. Then why should the plastic be considered as a cancer? Then why should the board show please don't litter plastic? It is because among the full plastic produced only 5% can be recycled. The rest 95% cannot be recycled, cannot be degraded, cannot be decomposed. So what you do? You incinerate them. As a result, a large amount of carbon is being produced. As I mentioned earlier, the plastics are made up of carbon. This carbon reacts with the oxygen to form the carbon dioxide, which is a greenhouse gas. This results in global warming and climatic change. And when you dump the plastics on land, it causes soil erosion and the landslides. And if you fill deep inside the soil, it causes groundwater contamination. And you know what's the current trend? People dump the plastics into ocean. 
As a result, the fish population gets reduced to a greater extent due to the entanglement in the plastics. The animals also suffer from indigestion due to the plastic consumption. The human hormone level is also imbalanced due to the high poison content in the plastic. As I said, the current trend is dumping the plastic into ocean. So let's make a forecast. What will be the scenario in 2050 if the current trend persists? In 2050, about 1,124 million tons of plastics will be produced if this situation persists and there will be more number of plastic bottles in the ocean than the fish count and nearly 20 percentage of the oil will be used for plastic production alone and 15 percentage of the carbon will be from the plastic just imagine what would be the situation and so what can you do what you can do now is you collect them you collect the leaked plastic debris recycle them and reprocess them so we have to make an analysis where to be done what and this is being found the design is mainly found in the American and the European states and the production is partly distributed that is between the American and the Asian countries. They use the resources in the Asian countries and dump the byproducts here and as a result the leakage is very high in Asian countries. So a limitation to the design has to be put on the European countries and collection has to be emphasized in Asian countries. You can act as a good child for your parents, a good student for your teachers, but only your real friend knows your real character. Your parents and teachers can scold and advise you, only your friend can be a good change in you. Yes, in the same way the society knows the good effects of the plastics and they use them. You, the engineers, the youth know the bad effects of the plastics. So only you can bring the good out of the waste. It is rightly said char charity begins at home. Let's look what are the measures taken by our government. First is the Swetch Bharat recycling machine. This is the first step taken by the Modi government to reduce the pl plastic leakage. This machine can crush up to 500 bottles per day. And in addition, the instant rewards being offered in the form of coupons and recharges motivates people to collect the bottles from the waste and to dispose them. Nearly 10 more machines has to be installed yet. And next is the road with plastic. When the plastics waste are mixed with hot aggregate while tearing, the road attain a glossy look, high resistance to water and high durability. This is going to be the roads of fruit of future. And the plastics can also be used in a better creative way if you decide. That is to increase the aesthetic beauty. Yes, you can use the plastics as a gardening for gardening purpose the bottle garden is the best example and you will be really shocked to know that a house built up of plastic bottles is really more has more strength and durability than a house built up of the bricks and the cement and the technically weak nigerian people are following this trend and i'm here i'm an electronic engineer and i'm so happy to say the soothing message that the plastics can be used for electronics purpose. The plastic that has the property of conductivity and the light emitting property can be used as an electronic and they are called as the polytronic. Just think you are rolling your computer or your laptop and you are carrying it in an EG flask. How superb, right? This will be possible only because of the polytronic. And apart from that, artificial muscles are also possible and the electronic newspapers. So my friends, the purpose of my speech was to explain to you about the hazards of the plastic. And as an electronic engineer, this is what is being done in my domain. Civil engineers use them for construction. In the same way, all of you are from different domains. You can bring the change. You can use these waste plastics in a better way. I strongly believe that in each and every one of you, there is an Abdul Kalam, there is a Swami Vigayananda. Arise, awake, and work. Success is yours. And you can bring, you can decide whether they lead the world as a contaminated one or a pollution free one. References are huge, but here are some of the authentic references I have made. Thank you. Rusana, thank you. Thank you, sir. Your, uh, what, what made you choose this presentation topic? Uh, sir, at one stage I came to know about the polytronics and I was really excited 
by knowing about that. And at the same time, I came to know that a switchbarred machine is also being produced. And I, I was really, I, I, went, I wanted to do some project with plastics in the electronic. I had a mentality. And that's the time when the youth talk also came. And so I applied and uh, the topic, I didn't even go through the list of topics they have given. I thought I will put, take the plastic as a topic and I will explore about that and I will present it, sir. Okay. I, uh, personally I feel that, uh, um, you know, uh, there was not much of a self, uh, uh, you know, uh, involvement on that. Uh, the topic chosen, right? So obviously you need to be choosing a topic that needs to be uh, absolutely, I mean I'm not saying anything wrong about the topic, but the way that you need to bring it out, the content which you're bringing it out has to be, you know, uh, uh, much more powerful than what your slide content is. And your delivery is this, it's little more, should be little more, you know, punctuating and effective than the one, than slide, because the slides are deviating a little bit and uh, you're gathering content at the end, which is not coming to the level of what you wanted to say. And you have been, uh, you know, obviously, you know, on a thing spot, on a different past zones. So that is also is coming out a little obvious. Otherwise, it's okay. Thanks. Uh, good presentation, Razana. Thank you, sir. Okay, so first we had e-waste. No plastics. We have one more presenter. I don't know what what next. So though you have our you know thought buds growing and we are picking our brains, but a uh, couple of things and observations that I had was uh, like as, like as my colleague said that punch was missing. Topic was good enough, but I think the message that you wanted to convey was not coming across. Right and. Uh, there was a kind of a lag between the presentation and what you were trying to say you know, in terms of subject. So I think a little bit of more coordination and a little bit of more uh, punch into the content part. That will help a lot. Anyway, thanks. Best of luck. First of all, congratulations, Rizana, yes. for uh, coming from your community and talking. You know, that's amazing because uh, the freedom of speech, I like that way you came and talked. Uh, unfortunately, you came immediately after e-waste. You know, that was one thing that is still uh, ringing in our mind. So, but the positives were that uh, you had a very good connect to the slide. Like, everybody came, presented, but you are, the, I think, the only person who pointed at the slide. Uh, I didn't notice from any of your previous participants or where you came in and connected because after all this is a presentation, right? Presentation is to link. The other thing is the references that you are given. So it looks authentic for us. Okay, one connect probably could have come is what you are doing in this space, how do you want us to take it home from here? Because uh, again, an impact point of view, right? So you need to, if you had given few ideas, suggestions to trigger some action, call for action, you know, that would have helped a lot. This is what I feel. Anyway, congratulations. Thank you. Uh, Rizana, <coughs> very informative. Thank you, sir. Uh, well collected data. The data I really liked it and the slides are uh, very pleasant and uh, I looked at it very closely. Overall, you have done a very good preparation. Uh, one thing is missing, as my colleagues told us, your direction is missing because you are the director, we are listening to you. So, your own uh, footprints are actually missing here. All right. But the last three slides, what you have shown is really fantastic about how we can use plastic more innovatively, like you know, bottle gardens and the house in Nigeria, how they built it. That's very impressive. But as a director, I didn't see your touch. That's the only, uh, you know, point here. Other than that, you have really done well. You'll be more successful in life. All the best. Thank you. So, well, very, very, uh, very thought-provoking subject, which everybody thinks and nobody does anything. <laughs> yes, sir. Okay, even if you go to the, the mall, 
they say do you want a plastic bag if you have to pay for it it's only 7 rupees or 5 rupees so 99% everybody will pay and still buy the bag i still don't know why they are not pricing it at 100 rupees or 200 rupees um, and we are still using plastic pens <laughs> right uh, we didn't learn from the wooden pencil but why i'm saying all this is thank you so much uh, choosing a not a very it's a courageous thing to choose a topic like this which is not very interesting which is slightly boring because everybody talks about throwing plastic away but i think where um, um, you know ganesh said that and lot of other people said everybody actually resonated with that is the punch thing is more the emotional versus the data balance the data was fantastic in your slides amazing amount of data but on the other side if you could have shown some slides where you know just pictures of what kind of impact it's creating the carcinogen right it's basically a cancer causing chemical yes. if you could have just shown some pictures of cancer patients it would have touched our heart right so that that key thing you might want to capture right and also uh, you know your punctuation at that point of time otherwise nicely done thank you thank you